Hi, Alex Kidman here from Fat Duck Tech, taking a look at the new HTC Desire I. The Desire I is HTC's latest mid-range smartphone, and boy, it's got a lot of those now. So what does the Desire Eye do to stand out? Well, it's big 7.0 R dual 13 megapixel cameras which can mix and match video and stills in the same shot. It's a cute feature, it's not exactly a unique feature, but it seems to be reasonably well implemented. From a style perspective, these look like mid-range phones. They don't look cheap, but they definitely don't look premium either. In the flesh, they remind me rather solidly of the iPhone 5C. They've got that kind of plastic feel, they've got those kind of candy colours. It's not an unpleasant experience to hold and it's reasonably light. These are, of course, US models, but they're expected in Australia quite soon. Again, pricing hasn't really been disclosed. There are a lot of mid-range handsets out there, and the reality is that HTC's got a bunch already. So quite where they position this will be really, really interesting to see. It's also running HTC's iExperience software, which allows it to do a number of other cool things like track multiple people in a video shot, which you can kind of see in a wobbly fashion here. I doubt the HTC Desire Eye is really going to set the market on fire because, again, it's a mid-range phone. There's just so many of them. But it's a decent, solid little handset, at least at first glance. I'll need a lot more testing time before I can actually come up with any definitive conclusions about whether or not it bests the other mid-range phones that you can also spend your money on.